Alright guys, I'm back. I'm just trying this again. We're in the front this time. No more no more nagging and moaning and groaning tonight. Uh funny story. I got a funny story for you. So last week. I wish I was more of a vlogger like just trucking because oh I could I probably got some views off this this stuff because I can't you can't make it up. So I was starting my week out, and I was needing to take my truck in to get something looked at. So I was already going to be going to a shop, so that, that kind of helped. But uh, I was doing my pre-trip, and I was checking my trailer. And I walked by, and I was like, that doesn't look right. And I double-checked. My air tank for the trailer, one of the brackets had busted through the weld and was hanging down. But it was, it was, it was still supported by the airlines enough that I actually had to get down and bend down and look at it to know that's what it was. So, when you're pre-tripping your trailers, make sure your air tank is being held up the way it's supposed to on the trailer. Because there's a bracket that's welded to the frame on both sides there in that little cubby between your two axles. So, I found that, called in, reported it to my company. I'm like, well, you're, you're somewhere where it's going to be harder to get someone to you, easier for you to get somewhere else. So, they're like, hey, strap it up and head to this place. Luckily, I was empty. So, that would have that that saved my ass had I got pulled over with this situation. So, I had to take a strap and support it so it wasn't hanging from the airlines anymore. And I drove uh, to a rider shop where I was going to have to get the truck looked at anyhow. I've, I've said this before. I uh, My company leases rider trucks, so I've got a rider truck. I get up to the shop. They take a look at the trailer, and they just kind of sit there, and they kind of like, oh, shit. They're like that old nervous giggle laugh. And I was like, yeah, tell me about it. This is the beginning of my week. Well, they, they looked at the truck, they figured it out, they got me back on the road, so I think I might have solved these, some of the issues I've been having with that, and I'm not going to talk about it too much, just because everybody's got truck issues here and there. But they're like, alright, yeah, your company called ahead, so you got a trailer issue, let's, let's, let's see about that. And so they got the info, and they're like, probably 30 minutes later, like, alright, good news is, is we're pretty sure we know what's wrong with your truck, we're going to fix that, it'll be another hour, hour and a half, because... It's got to be done the the way that works, not the way it, it's supposed to work. And we can't do anything with the trailer because it's not in our system. And uh, apparently the guy that could put it in the system left or something. So, yeah, I was out of luck for that one. So I had to sit there while the truck was getting fixed. And then I called my company and was like, hey, look, Ryder says they won't touch it because it's not in the system. The guy that uh, could do whatever to put it in the system, and he's not here no more. And they're like, all right, let's see if we can't find somebody around. I'm like, well, the mechanic guy here said there's a shop down the road that anyhow they need something done with trailers, they call them. You know, it's just literally just a shop down the road. It's a body shop or whatever. And I'm like, all right, let's look. They ended up getting a, like, a, like a, another small trucking company slash road service place that uh they were closed so i had to go over there after hours and call in they're like yeah just uh give me a second i'll let the guy know and he'll he'll be there blah 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 well so anyways it was an after hour job dude had it fixed in like an hour hour and a half so yeah i'm, I'm already way behind at this point and so I make it up to Georgetown where I'm doing my drop and hook. Of course, it's midnight, 1 o'clock, so I'm not making that 8 a.m. appointment. I, got, I, might have, I might have posted a short about this or something last week, but anyhow. So I get up there, I get parked, finding what I could because it was midnight in Georgetown. And that the, get over there, drop my trailer, doing my pre-trip for the trailer I'm picking up to take back to Memphis wouldn't you know it its air tank is hanging off on the opposite side 
So it's hanging down lower because it's the passenger side. So there's no airlines to support it. It's just fucking almost dragging the ground. So I'm like, either people are pre-tripping trailers because mine, I drug it home and it sat for the weekend. So I, it could have happened to me on the way home. I don't know. I just, I know I found it and I reported it when I found it. And then I, I got this trailer and I was like, fuck, two in a row, two days in a row, two trailers, two of the same issue. I'm like, just call me Murphy. Just call me Murphy. That's my new name. You're just going to call me Murphy. Luckily, where we pick up there, my, my company has got a shop literally like on the premises. And they're like, all right, we'll go over there to the shop, let them know what's going on pulled around, walked up, like, hey, I'm the guy that's got the trailer issue, and they're like, alright, pull it over. I think they had, I think they had it fixed in, like, 45 minutes all together between calling in and leaving, so. That's cool, so. That was fine. But, yeah. That's just my little tidbit. Make sure you pre-trip your trailers really good, people. Worst thing, worst thing is you lose the air tank on the trailer going down the interstate, or not even lose the trailer, just the trailer like comes off the bracket and it, it yanks an airline out or whatever and then your trailer no longer has air going to it where it's supposed to yeah that's not, not, not a fun thing so that's 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 my PSA make sure you pre and post trip your trailers thoroughly double check that air tank make sure that air tank is where it's supposed to be I think I still got a couple pictures. I'll throw a couple of them on there just to give everybody that cringe factor. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was just at six hours behind all week last week. Yeah, driving till midnight every night, sleeping like shit. Cause you park at midnight, you're gonna you're not getting started until ten. Easy. And I, I'm one of those people where if it's daylight, my internal clock is like, all right, it's up time. Yeah, so that was that was not fun. It was not fun dealing with all that BS. Oh, here just a little bit here, a little tack on. Watch just truck or uh, this guy trucks his video today and tonight, and he's right. There are too many people out here road rage and trying to drive cars off the road. I don't know how many times in a given day. I'm either getting getting almost ran off the road myself by usually an XL or an old classic, old long nose, pulling a, a, a grain trailer or a tanker. Grain trailers and tankers apparently are just assholes. They're all the time running people off the road. Uh, but I can say in the last two weeks I've almost got, I've almost just destroyed a car. Because I was going into an area where the lanes were coming down, and I was thoroughly, or no, good and true ahead. And these assholes came up like they they saw it was coming, it was merging into one lane, and they sped up from behind me and and cut me off twice. So it's not just the road raging for the truckers. There's some asshole pedestrian cars out here too. Because they get in a big damn hurry. Because they see us. And it's like, you're faster than us. You can accelerate faster than us. You can brake faster than us. Just let us get through the intersection. Let us get through the lane changes. Let us get through the merges. It, it's five seconds that you have to wait. And then you're going to get back your time. That's all I got for the night. I've been parked for almost an hour, so I got nine hours to go. I still gotta eat my dinner and get some sleep, so. I uh, will see y'all later.